Diffraction is the spreading of a wave that passes through an opening or past an obstacle. The wavelength lambda is the distance between successive wave crests. Diffraction occurs when the size b of the opening or obstacle is about the size of the wavelength lambda. Diffraction occurs if width b is about 1% of the wavelength or 1 tenth of the wavelength or the wavelength or 10 times the wavelength but not 100 times the wavelength. B needs to be within a couple orders of magnitude of lambda. In the lower animation, width B is two times larger than the wavelength, and we see less diffraction or spreading in the wave that mostly continues in the forward direction. Sound waves having a one meter wavelength diffract when passing through a meter wide doorway, enabling people down the hall to hear that sound. But the width of the door is five orders of magnitude larger than light waves that will not diffract and instead result in a distinct shadow of the doorway on the next wall. Babinet's principle states that diffraction occurs identically whether waves pass through openings or pass by obstacles. The size of this rock is close to the wavelength of the passing water waves, which diffract as they pass the obstacle. Huygens' principle says that each point in a wave acts as a source of a new wave, such as the wave emanating from the rock's location. Here is diffraction of water waves in the rock gap at Lake Baikal in Russia. Diffraction of light waves occurs when the wavelength matches either the size of an atom or the distance between adjacent planes of atoms. This is Nackel. Here is the diffraction pattern from icosahedrite. The diffraction pattern can be mathematically processed to figure out the location of the atoms. This is the way that the helical structure of DNA was discovered, as seen in this photo by Raymond Goslin and Rosalind Franklin. When light waves either pass through a circular opening or pass by a spherical object, then this diffraction pattern results. Nearly every night we see a diffraction corona from objects that are located between you and the moon. The obstacles can be water, ice, or even pollen. Pollen is less spherical, so its diffraction pattern is less spherical. Diffraction occurs from the sun also but we rarely see it because the sun is too bright to look at. Since this building in Tallinn, Estonia is blocking the sun, the sun's diffraction corona is more easily seen. Here is a giant solar corona. The diffraction ring seen in the cloud is a so-called glory. This occurs as sunlight passes over the airplane and is reflected by the water droplets back toward the viewer. The glory is centered on the shadow of the observer. Diffraction is really interference from subregions within the source. You often see interference in overlapping curtains and such.